That's about a fish. That's all we wanted. That's nice fish. Where's he going? To the rocks. Oh. oh. That was the one. That was the one. That was a big fish. When I was a teenager growing up in southern New South Wales, you could usually find me fishing in one or two places. I was either chasing salmon and tailor and drummer and the like down on the south coast of New South Wales. I was in the Snowy Mountains chasing trout. Recently I got to thinking, would it be cool if you could try and cover both those aspects of fishing in one day? Bit of a sea to summit challenge if you like. And to that point, we've gone on a bit of a road trip. Bill's come up from the south, I've driven down from the north. We've got a night here at the big four in Batemans Bay and tomorrow we've got a 24 hour challenge Bill. We're going to hit a rock platform in the morning, hopefully chase up a salmon or a tailor. And then about eight or nine o'clock, it's a three hour drive into the mountains. We've got the Arvo session chasing trout. Pretty cool thing to achieve. Sounds like a big day. All right, mate, well, I reckon we've got a bit of gear to get ready, a good night's sleep, because we've got a big 24 hours ahead of us. The clock is now ticking on our Cedar Summer Challenge. We've got first light about to appear. A rock platform that we're just sitting and watching for a while to make sure it's safe enough to go and have a crack. This is about the time of day where our smaller ocean pelagics are coming in close to the rocks and the beach. I reckon this is going to be the hard one to do. I'm fairly confident between you and I we can catch a trout in the mountains. We don't have that long. We've got, I reckon, 45 minutes. Typically, this is the prime bite time. You've got the lures, I've got the bait. Let's go and see if we can strike a blow Let's early. Let's go get wet. Oh, bite. Yep. Yep, got him. Got him. Oh, got jumping. <laughs> Well, here's our tailor, Billy. Start as winter run, you get a mixed bag of what we call our chopper size tailor, which is this guy, up to right up to those kilo, two kilo models, which we call our greenbacks. That's a nice start for the morning. Where there's one, there's more. There's a reason you, what we call our smaller class of pelagics, come into areas like this, and it's to approach areas where there's bait holding. There's a certain area where they'll run up along the rocks, and it's on the edge of the wash zone. A lot of your bait holds in the wash zone, and the fish will patrol that margin between where the, the white water stops and the clean water starts. And that often means you've got to cast past that zone. And for that reason, Bill and I are both using relatively long rods. I've got a surf rod, Bill's got a long spin rod. And we're trying to cast a good 10, 20 metres past the edge of that wash zone and then pull baits and lures through that. To retrieve with the bait, very, very easy. You obviously want to cast it to that zone. Get it out there past it. Let it sit for a few seconds. Wind up any slack. And then once you've got a tight line, and then we're slowly retrieving at about that rate. Line through my finger so I can feel the bites. And what will quite often happen is you get a lot of tap tap bites, and then a weight. You'll definitely feel the weight of the fish, and you've got to wait for the weight of that rod to load up, and then you strike. Yes, there's one. There's one, Billy. Got him. Oh, yes. Good fish. I love that bite. Hard to say. He's got right. Oh, That's a go. Salmon. Fish is starting to show up. Daylight is on its way. Hopefully we can start ticking some boxes. Couple of nice tailor. Would really seal the deal for us right now. That's a better fish. That's all we wanted. He loaded up on that. I haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen him yet. Where's he going? He's a nice fish. Where's he going? To the rocks. Oh. oh, that was the one. That was the one. That was a big fish. Big tailor. Big greenback tailor. Oh, got the adrenaline going. Just got stuck on a rock. That's just what we didn't need. Now today, I'm just using a medium spin outfit to fish from the rocks. A simple three meter, two piece black hole spin rod three to five thousand reel loaded with 20 to 25 pound braid in this case some sunline braid and the sort of lures that I'm using are a little bit different slow jigs sinking stick baits and sinking minnows in the 40 to 60 gram range best way to cast these lures off the rocks on this sort of outfit is to use a long drop that way you really get tangled on the cast and retrieve wise just mix it up. These lures are really, really versatile. You can do just about anything to them. You can high speed them back in, you can stop them, drop them, jig them. And if it's a stick bait, the outfit's light enough to be able to use it single handed. Nice work, Billy. Oh, no, he's off. Oh, no. A little one again. 
just had a bit of purchase down down deep, I think, Nige. Yeah, a bit deeper. Nice fish, Billy. Oh, yeah. Uh, salmon. Put a hook in you. That's all I need. Oh, salmon, Billy. The, the mix is coming through. They're not the monsters big. which come at the start of winter, but it shows you we're in that mix of the seasons now. We get the small guys yeah. and the big ones. And I'll tell you what, spinning and bait fishing for them, a whole lot of fun. I'll uh, put in an order for some bigger ones, but at the moment, you catch a fish, you can't complain. Well, mate, let that go. We'll get back out in the coal face. There we go. Nigel's been getting a few of his fish in close and I've been using a slow jig, which is probably casting up to about 90 metres, but decided to change over to this little Maria sinking minnow and see if I can pick up some of those fish that are close into the rocks. And there we go, just a nice little salmon on a little heavy sinking Maria minnow. Yeah, I got him that time. That's, That's a better, better one, Billy. That's a better one. <laughs> this is what we got up early for, Billy. Beautiful. Aussie salmon, such great sport fish. Not the best on the table, but what they lack there, they make up for in every ounce of strength they give you on the end of a rod. Got the adrenaline going. Actually worth getting up on a cool morning. Go and see what the ocean has to offer.